I'm so tired. I'm so tired that I don't even want to go anymore. That's how tired I am. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go to the train. We still have the birthday vibes, of course, because it's just the next day. But Ray just hopped in the shower. We have about 30-ish minutes before we probably need to start heading to the train. So I will check in with y'all when we leave, but we're packed. My suitcase, my book bag, and then he's just bringing a duffel. I'm bringing my suitcase just in case we have extra stuff that we're bringing back from Comic-Con. And yeah, I'm just gonna make my bed because it's a mess as you can see. And then we'll be off. <laughs> comic-con i was recording content ignore my printer in the background and i got a notification i'm so excited because if i didn't tell y'all yet i'm going to comic-con this year in new york comic-con my boyfriend and i are going and they send you all the stuff in the mail like any add-ons you add to your ticket they send it to you in the mail and i was already about to open this and i was like let me record this for the vlog so here we go taking the first look nice little cardboard okay uh, I'm not going to share the code, but 15% off the haul and $10 off Popverse. Autobots roll out. Your NYCC Comic Con ticket has rolled out. But first, you must activate your badge. Follow us on social for a guest. I already do that and download the mobile app. Meanwhile, you'll have to wear this ticket or badge as you'll sometimes hear it called, on a lanyard around your neck. So, oh, the badge is in here. Okay, so, we got the badges. Let's look at the badges first. Okay, I see. I guess that's why they ask you what you're into. So, they, this is Thursday, which is Hell's Paradise. I am not even mad at it. This is so cute. And then Friday, we have Spy Family. So they ask you which ones you're into and I picked anime and a few couple of, and a couple other ones and I guess that's why they give you anime because they'll give you what you ask. I can't wait to see which ones my boyfriend got. They're in a separate one. So you guys know I love a plush and there is a Comic-Con exclusive plushie. I'm going to take the plastic off this. Hold on. Okay, we got the plastic open and look, at first I wasn't going to get it. And then I was like, I have to. I realized what it is, and I was like, I have to. So it's a New York rat. Hold on, let me. It's a New York rat with a slice of pizza, a beanie, an earring. It is literally just the cutest, cutest thing ever. And it's a limited edition of 2000, but it doesn't tell you what number of 2000, which is insane. Comic-Con Squishable. It's so cute though. Look how adorable that is. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to add this to the Comic-Con vlog. So now that I've done this, I guess let's jump into Comic-Con. <laughs>
about dating. I feel like someone needs to be selling bags. <laughs> We need a bag. Everyone comes out of there with the bags. So that's where the bags seem to be.
Young back here. We had a great time at Comic Con. Things were crazy, and I didn't record as much as I wanted to, but I hope you enjoyed what I did record. And just know that we are definitely going back next year. And I will, now that I know what to mentally prepare myself for, it'll be popping. So what I wanted to do to kind of end up this end this vlog is, of course, share with y'all the whole of things I got. And I'm gonna switch the camera view for that so you can see up close everything. And I kind of wanted to give some tips for Comic-Con 2024 for anyone who's going, who maybe it's their first time or they just need some, they just, you know, maybe you did go this year and you want my tips for from someone who it is their first time. So Comic-Con does a great job of kind of telling you what to do if it's your first time. They tell you to hydrate, to wear comfortable shoes, and we did all of that. Um, another thing I want to say, like, I'm going to give my, I'm going to do my own tips, okay? So, basically, yeah, wear comfortable shoes and just keep in mind that you will be walking, right? Like, we took the train from Queens to the city and we had to walk from basically Penn Station to the Javits Center. That in itself is a pretty long walk. You could take the bus, you could take a cab, but we decided to walk it and most people walk it. You will be walking with tons of people that are going to Comic-Con, so it's definitely a fun walk, but it's a walk. And then of course you're walking around the entire con. So my main tip is to just be prepared to walk, okay? And be prepared for their, sorry, I had to turn that off, for there not to be a lot of places to sit. So that's my other uh, thing is be prepared to sit on the floor, right? If you, just, you're not gonna find a seat, right? Like. It, We'll get into the food situation, but you're not going to find a seat, so be prepared to sit on the floor, sit on the stairs. That's what we did. You saw in the vlog, we ended up sitting on the floor, sitting on the stairs, eating food. I do want to say, food is expensive. We didn't go to the food truck alley, but we did eat the food inside the Javits Center, and that tray of chicken tenders and fries that you saw me eat in the vlog was $20 per tray. The, the vitamin water was $5 of vitamin water. It was insane. So if you don't want to spend that much money in the con for food, there is the food truck alley. I don't know how much cheaper that is, but you can come and go from the con as you please. So you just have to scan your badge, um, scan your badges or badge rather for whatever day or if you have the four day, uh, you you scan it in and out just so that guess that they know how many people are in the center and so you can go get something to eat elsewhere there's like mcdonald's like you're in the middle of the city so there's a lot of things you can go eat outside of the con but once you're in there and you know like i said we're overwhelmed we just ate the food there and i'm not gonna lie it was pretty okay it wasn't great it was just okay but i did get those little empanadas that you saw the nunchas i think they're called those were good they were still a little bit expensive it was 15 dollars for a pack of five of them but they were good they were good i was gonna get lemonade from them but it was eight dollars so no we drank water which leads me to the next tip bring water bring water bottles um bring your water bottle there are fountains in the in the javits center for you to fill up your water bottle and uh you can fill it up because like I said, the water was $4, vitamin water was $5. So save yourself the money, bring your own water. Because even if like being a New Yorker, even if you leave the Javits Center to go get water and drinks in that area, in the city, it's going to be expensive. So whatever you could bring with you, bring. I don't know if you could bring drinks into the Javits Center like uh, salt, like other drinks, but we brought water in and we had no problem. And my boyfriend's friend bought a water bottle, like a not clear water bottle and he was fine i also brought bags i saw i had my kakashi bag um i also had my camera bag my boyfriend had a book bag they did not search our bag um once they you go through a metal detector when you come in and out so you don't have to have a clear bag like some of the other stadiums and yeah that's pretty much all of my tips it's just you know be prepared to walk and honestly my number one tip is to pick thursday thursday was the least busy day and it was the day that we probably got to enjoy most of the con just because we didn't have to 
We went Thursday and Friday. Friday was so packed, as you probably saw in the video, that we could barely walk and barely move, which is another reason why I didn't record as much. And another reason why I didn't record is because, as I mentioned in the vlog, I left my camera battery at my parents' house, so I recorded everything on my phone, and I also had to make sure that I had enough battery left on my phone to get us back home because I was the only one who had like the transit app to buy the metro, to buy the Long Island Railroad tickets. So my phone was like, we were heavily relying on my phone. So day one, I could not record as much. So another tip for me would be to make sure you have your camera battery, bring an extra cam camera battery because my camera battery did die towards the end of day two and to bring a power bank for your phone. They do have charging stations, but I didn't see one open and there are no other plugs available throughout the con. So if you can't get to the charging station, your phone will be dead. So I highly recommend bringing a power bank and that's what I'll be doing next year. So now that I give you all my tips, let's jump into this haul. I'm so excited to show y'all everything. I'm good, I'm so excited. Okay, so first, thing I should probably start with is everything that's on my badge here. So first I got these this cute little keychain that's basically a Karomi. Like I have the pop man. Hold on. I wish I could move it but my hold on I'll show you this first and then I'll show you the pop. If it will focus. So there you go. She's like in that little unicorn outfit and it's a tsunami so that's the brand so you know she's floating around in here it's kind of hard to get her to take a photo because of the fact that you know she spins around but she's basically wearing the exact same outfit and holding the exact same unicorn that she is holding in this pop here so had to get her. They didn't have Pochaco, which was so sad. I was actually looking for him with another girl that was at the same booth and we could not find him. So we were both devastated. But, whoa, sorry, this is heavy. Nonetheless, it was, it's super cute. So moving on, I need to brighten this up a little bit so that you guys can see. Um, sorry guys. Give me a minute. Okay. So, uh, I hope that's brighter. <laughs> that's that. And then I've got a crap ton of pins. So, if we can get this to focus. This one says, I said in peace. It's a little coffin. And it's actually a hinged pin. And and when you flip it open, it's like a mummy sticking the middle finger. This is my favorite. Now, the thing that sucks is that I don't have a lot of the artists for these pins because it was so packed on some of these days that I was getting left behind by my boyfriend and I didn't want to get lost because as I mentioned, there's no service in there. So did I mention that? I th there's no service in there. So it was hard. So this is super cute, but I'm going to be on a mission to find the artist for this one. And there's one more that I'm about to show you. This one here. This one is actually from an anime called Made in Abyss. And it's so cute. It's actually a really dark anime for anyone who knows it. But this scene made me cry and it's so cute. So I have to find the artist for this one. I also got this little Psyduck pin that says what the duck. This was a dollar pin from a random booth along with this one. The Lumos pin. They were super cute. And then y'all know I had to get an Adventure Time pin. Surprisingly enough, this is the only one I found and it's Bemo super cute and then oh my gosh i think these are my favorite so you guys know i love harry potter i'm a hufflepuff so this is a niffler carrying a hufflepuff trophy and it's all decked out in the hufflepuff colors this one these two are my favorite i love it so much the detail is amazing and i do have the artist for this one i will link her down below she was so sweet and then i also got this one because i couldn't decide true libra 
which one I wanted. It's a Niffler holding a love potion and it has this super cute tassel and it's just, oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. I can't, I just can't, I can't deal. So I got both of them. Uh, I think that's all of them. This is the one, this is the Comic-Con pin that we pre-ordered with our tickets. It's a rat on a NYCC cup. I actually love this one too because it, rats, like circus rats was the theme for this year and I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Um, you guys saw the rat plush that I got when I pre-ordered the tickets too. And then the final pin is this beautiful Kakashi pin right here. I will link the artist because she is super talented. My boyfriend actually has some of her pins before we even found her booth we have some he had some already so we found all of these and while we're on the topic of pins i'm going to show you all of the pins that he got too okay no i'm not because i guess he took his pins and his lanyard to work which makes sense because i'm sure he wants to show his friends at work and the kids at school because they're, they're they love anime too but now i'm going to show you all these two um squishmallows Squishmallows wasn't at Comic-Con, which I was kind of disappointed about, but there was obviously loads of vendors selling um, uh, Squishmallows, and I didn't see any like big guys that I like, so I just grabbed two mystery ones, and I got my first ever Axolotl. She is absolutely adorable. She's fuzzy. She's so cute. I actually have another one coming in the mail soon, and then I got this one which is this little Mickey ice with like mint pistachio ice cream looking thing like vibe and they're both so cute I don't have any Disney ones am I lying to y'all? no I have Tails and I have Togepi I don't have any Disney so this is my first Disney one and I also have some Harry Potter ones coming in soon so I will share you those with y'all but these are the two little guys that I got um Okay, so I also got some more pins. These I cannot take out of the thing because my boyfriend and my dad will spontaneously combust. But I got this super cute uh, Dumbo pin. Dumbo is one of my favorite Disney movies. These are one of 1,000. I'm pretty sure if you scan this code, it tells you which number. And it's a Comic-Con exclusive. You can't get it anywhere else. Hence why they don't want me taking it out. And it's just super cute. I'm going to get a bookcase to go behind my desk soon, so I don't mind. I'm going to put all of that along with all of my pops up there on the bookcase. And I also got this. If you guys know the anime Chainsaw Man, one of my favorite characters. Actually, my favorite character is Power. And they've got this super awesome pin of her. And it's the same deal. One of 1,000 absolutely amazing i'm just it was such an experience y'all so i'm gonna show y'all another thing that i can't open i have been a tamagotchi lover for my my whole life honestly i don't know how long this is gonna stay sealed up because i fucking love tamagotchi but this is a comic-con exclusive however it doesn't say that it's a comic-con exclusive anywhere on the box so I'm going to talk to my boyfriend about that and see how much they're selling them on eBay before I make the dedication to not open it. But the only reason why I'm okay with not opening this is because the box is absolutely gorgeous. I love how it looks perfectly. The whole Tamagotchi section was amazing. Shout out to my boyfriend for getting such amazing photos and videos. But I don't mind sitting this on a bookshelf and it will totally fit the vibe. It has all of my colors and I'm just absolutely obsessed. So, okay, finally something I can open because of course we are, we're going to Comic Con to get the things but we're also supporting artists and this one artist I found, I will share, uh, this is her info. That's her Instagram. There we go. I was looking for it. Her Instagram. So basically she wrote a comic and uh, 
then created a tarot deck out of the comic. The last thing I was expecting to see was tarot decks at Comic-Con. There was surprisingly a lot of them, but I had most of the ones that were there. They had the Disney one. Um, they had some other ones that I just wasn't, I haven't been interested in and I saw them before. But when I saw an artist, like a small artist, and they also had it open so you could see, oh, I fell in love. This one, the art is just so beautiful. I love the colors. I love the vibes but I don't want to show too much because I want to do a full unboxing video for this at some point in the future but boom you guys see it's absolutely beautiful that's her information if you want to get one but I will be doing a full unboxing video and um, if I don't destroy it Jesus um, basically I do have the other this is the artist that I got the Niffler pins from, Kim Shu Creative. I literally, she put them in this cute little envelope, but I did not even keep them in there. I put them right on my lanyard. This is her info, Kim Shu Creative. They, her pins were absolutely adorable. I love these, so I will definitely buy more of her pins. <laughs> They're so cute, the little Nifflers. And she had so many different ones that I wanted, but I had to like limit myself. And I got this random Crunchyroll lanyard because they gave out free lanyards. This is the one that I bought to go with my ticket, but it was just too big and you couldn't really see all of my pins on it. So I swapped for this one, which is this another country Crunchyroll one, which they gave out on day one. This is the one they gave out on day two. So we've got all of that and then finally something we can open so i don't care this is a this is a 2023 limited uh series but they're so cute i don't care i have to open it so we're gonna open this together it's the the mega cat and it's a naruto collab but it's nya naruto if you can see if my camera will focus boom so it's absolutely adorable i cannot wait to open this so let's I don't want to rip the box because I do also want to keep the box but we are opening it my boyfriend's probably gonna have a heart attack but I don't care it's my favorite thing Naruto and cuteness cute little cats okay so we're gonna start out with the one that I'm probably least excited about which is Sasuke because we know not a huge Sasuke fan, but they do have other ones, so I'm going to try to, and they're mystery boxes, so I'm going to get those. This little cutie. Oh my god. It's so adorable. It's got this little thing on the back. And it does say that it's 2023 Limited on it. This is so cute. And then we have my boy. Naruto himself. Look at the cuteness. The absolute cuteness going on here. Oh my gosh, I can't deal. So, um, <laughs> they're so cute. Okay, so that's everything I got from Comic Con. I also got this Tamagotchi pin. And when you bought something from Tamagotchi World, they gave you this free tote bag also so that's all of the stuff i got but i want to show you something that my boyfriend got that i can show you because he left it here basically you guys know that there's often celebrities and many people at comic con and my boyfriend was lucky enough to get a signed rengoku pop now he already has this pop but this is a one of 100 by the voice actor it's like a voice it's exclusive there's only 100 of them for the voice actor and then he the voice actor himself signed it nicest man that we met he was such a nice guy really embodied rengoku if you watch the anime super nice they, get, they got this really hard acrylic case on it and he also got a poster which i will show y'all but I, it's too big for me to show you in this little pile here so we're gonna move the camera and show you it's right here Rengoku versus Akaza 
and it says to Ray, I will see my duty fulfilled, and it's signed by him. Which, and I don't know if you guys could tell, but my boyfriend is a pretty big Rengoku fan, so it was a great, <laughs> it was a great experience for him. All right, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this sneak this little peek at comic-con my haul all of this great stuff i'm sorry that everything kind of got jumbled up with content while i was in new york but we'll probably double up on on vlogs for a couple days just to kind of get back on track but we will be back on track this week and i have so much more fall fun planned for y'all for the next couple of days um for, well for the last couple of days of vlogtober and i just want to say thank y'all so much we went from like 450 something subscribers to now 460 something subscribers and i'm so grateful and just know that i'm gonna keep coming consistent and even after vlogtober i will still be doing vlogs and i plan on doing vlogmas this year as well so i hope y'all are enjoying this and yes i will see y'all tomorrow for the next day or days of vlogtober i don't we'll, we'll figure it out but i hope you enjoyed this vlog comment down below your favorite thing from the haul and I love y'all for watching. Thank y'all so much. As usual, stay beautiful, keep it spooky, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!